Hello guys, welcome back to Hardcore Reporters Television. As we promised, today we will take you briefly on how to buy USDT and USBT. If you already set up your MetaMask account up to this level that we are now, that is adding USDT and USBT tokens. It means you are ready to go with us to this party too that we are about to go now. But if you haven't, please, we recommend that you watch the previous video we uploaded on Hardcore Reporters Television YouTube channel. And that was the part one of this tutorial where we shared briefly how you can add usdt and usbt to your metamask wallet so we recommend that you watch that very first step applied it correctly before watching this very second step and then its application on your metamask now listen up everyone watching and listening this is the most crucial part in this tutorial so you must pay rapt attention to every step and don't miss out on any make sure you watch till the end at the end of this part two tutorial we'll be dropping the helpline which you will contact if you have any confusing parts which probably you didn't understand here so brace up and let's begin click on buy bnb and it will take you directly to this very interface so here is where you will choose your country of residence when i say your country of residence it means the country that you are currently residing and not any other country so because of this story what we are buying is usdt pay attention take notes here what we are buying is usdt and not binance coin so don't make that very mistake of selecting or leaving it selected on binance coin you have to change it to usdt so here we go type usdt and select the first one Type in the amount you want to buy and after that click on done and proceed to payment method. Payments method do vary depending on the country which you reside in. But in all the countries they have debit or credit card option. So we recommend that. Quickly choose debit or credit card option and proceed by clicking on get boots. So from here, complete all the on-screen instructions they give you to complete your payment of buying USDT. Dear listeners and viewers, due to privacy issues, we will not go into details on this. Now you have to take the book by the home by going through it. It's that normal way of completing payments online. The main thing is that you have to check out all the instructions to complete your payments. It's not a big deal. This is how to view the progress of your payments, like on MetaMask, whether the order is completed failed or declined you have to go to your metamask on screen and click on the history tab click on orders and you see whether your order has been processed so as you can see on the usdt token you now have a balance instead of it being zero usdt this means that we have successfully purchased about a usdt into our metamask account so the next step is to buy usbt which is Biafra coin with this USDT that we purchased. But as you can see on the screen, we currently have zero USBT. It means that there is no USBT in our USBT token. So we have to undergo the process now to buy the USBT. So follow up. And as always, if you are living in that geographical place called Nigeria, install a VPN and own it now because we are going to access the USBT dot bank of biafra website in order to be able to buy usbt so let's go first of all click on portfolio and then click on the search bar carefully write usbt dot bank of biafra dot org and make sure you get it correctly it will take you to the website Scroll down, scroll down. You see where they write buy USBT. Enter the amount of the USBT you intend to buy. Note here, please. The amount of USDT in your MetaMask wallet must be equivalent to the USBT you want to buy. In other words, the USBT you want to buy must not exceed the amount of USDT currently on your USDT MetaMask account. To break it down, if you have 2 USDT on your MetaMask wallet. What you will buy is 2 USBT, or you can buy below 2 USBT. 
and for example one usbt this is because the usdt and usbt are equivalent in value and what we are doing here is balancing the equation it will declare and tell you insufficient usdt if the buying value doesn't correspond so i hope you got it so after carefully putting the amount you want to buy click on buy and then wait for it so here you have to literally confirm the payment click on refresh fee and click on yes do it to complete the payment the system will take less than five seconds to process the payment just wait for it boom usbt buy successfully so what we do from here now is to go to our home page and metamask to confirm and see whether the usb that we have just bought is replating so go back to the home page as you can see two usbt now added to our usbt token so now that you have successfully invested in bank of biafra usbt the next is how to stake the usbt and air rewards the bank of biafra offers intrinsically 18 percent interest when you stake so on the part three of this tutorial we will be teaching you guys global citizens how to stake the usbt in rewards so stay tuned on our call reporters today so thank you guys for watching and subscribing and if you haven't already subscribed please do it now so that you stay tuned on this channel and see when we drop the next update thank you very much You are welcome to the United States of Biafra Security Administration website, the only approved online portal for Biafra citizens' ID card application and event registration. You are Click on the register button on the menu list if you are a first-time visitor. Fill in your name, phone number, email, and preferred password to create your user account. Check your email inbox for the account verification link from Biafra Security Administration. Click on the Verify Here Now button in the email to complete the verification process. After verification, log in to your account. Upon login, a pop-up message will ask if you want to access the application forms. Click on Go to see the overview and the privacy statement page. Please read carefully and tap agree and submit button to view the online application form page. Choose between two types of application forms, the ID card application form and the non ID card application form. Ensure you read through the descriptions of each before making your choice. Once you select your application type, the application form will open to you for you to fill. Fill the entire form with accurate information and upload any required documents. To avoid errors, jot down answers to questions on paper before completing the online form. After successful filling the application form, you will be redirected to the Jumio verification page to verify your identity. Ensure the uploaded identity document matches the one used for verification. After successful Jumio verification, proceed to the payment page to make payments for your ID card. Upon successful payment, you will receive email confirmation. Please allow up to seven days for administrators to review your application and make approval. Ensure all information provided is correct to avoid rejection and account suspension for security reasons. Make sure you comply with directives and guidelines provided throughout the process. Thank you. For your event registration to Finland Convention, 
Kindly click on the Events button on our website menu. This will direct you to the event page. Select the Finland Convention event. You will be taken to the login page. If you have an existing user account, log in with your email and password. Once logged in, access the convention application form. Fill out the form correctly and select your preferred ticket type. Click on the Pay Now button to make payment for your 2024 Finland Convention event tickets. After successful submitting your application, wait for seven days for administrators to review and approve your application. Upon approval, your event ticket will be emailed to you. Please ensure that your email address and all other information provided are accurate to avoid any issues with your application. See you all in Lati, Finland. From November 29th to December 3rd, 2024, Biafra, peace, unity, and freedom. Thank you.
Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wonderful people of Biafra and lovers of freedom. We salute you all and we bring you warm greetings from the Biafra Republic government in exile and the de facto government in the homeland. The media team of the BRGIA have gathered here today to keep the fire burning and to awaken your subconsciousness on the happenings of the day and to also key you into what you may not know and the misconceptions that are flying there and the deceit of the enemies of Biafra and the propaganda and blackmail leaflets that has been dropped and deposited and circulated in Biafra provinces against the indigenous people of Biafra. The indigenous people of Biafra could name IPOV, have a government, and that government is the Biafran Republic government in exile and de facto in the homeland, headed by one indomitable Obato Vie, the great finisher, the Igboki of our time, the Egberimaristic Egberimarized every moron, starting from Buari to Tifunubu, Senate President, Babio, Christopher Musa. And all his boys, our Obatobi has experimentalized all of them. The Itiare Kundu of Biafra, the stone that the builders rejected, which has become the chief cornerstone. If you don't put his name on any publication, your news will not fly. So if you want to make a name, remember to put Simon Ekba's name in everything that you are doing so that it will fly because he is the face and the eye of the Biafran people now. We salute the existence of our supreme leader. We salute the existence of our eternal leader. We salute the existence of our former president of Biafra. We salute the existence of our gallant men and women of the Biafra Defense Forces, defending and protecting and keeping our women and children from being slaughtered. Today, everyone sings Easter, but the Biafra Defense Forces are not singing Easter. What they are singing is Biafra, because they understand that you must have Biafra first before you can have a secure and enabling environment to be able to celebrate Easter. So if there is no Biafra where there is freedom of movement and you have security of life and properties, you, there will be no place for you to celebrate Easter. So we owe these men and women that have sacrificed their pleasure and their life and the warm embrace of their wives and children and family and concubines and wives and sugar daddy and sugar mommies and then put Biafra first we salute them and we call on all Biafrans to remain loyal to them like our PM said give them your support wherever you cite them we thank the Biafran people especially the media team we thank you all Biafrans that are making sure they disseminate information in one way or the other to make sure the awareness continue in a very large scale Thank you, both those that are doing propaganda and those that are doing black men and those that are doing the needful. Everything is working to the good of the Biafran people. If you like, sit down, waste time, talk against the Biafran people. You are actually creating awareness for the Biafran people and people will come to ask you, why are you talking about these people? Because there is something about this book that makes you spend three hours to talk about these people. So you do it positively, negatively, you are helping this very government. And we remain loyal to our Prime Minister. Kudos to all the cabinet members of the BRGIE serving under the Prime Minister. Kudos to the de facto government officials. Kudos to every reps and admins and coordinators of countries. And kudos to all Biafrans who are donating and making sure the war chest and the armory of Biafra armed forces is not lacking in any way. We must continue and we say a very big thank you to all of you. Happy Easter in the language of the season. But for us, we say happy Biafra Defense Force because they are doing us proud. So we salute all of you. And with us in the studio, we have this wonderful and if you keep them aside, you cannot go media team. <laughs> if you keep them aside, you cannot go media team. So with this media team, they have gone through hurdles in this liberation alongside with their prime minister. 
They have come very far. So I need to appreciate them in a very big way. Minister 247 Ndewo, Minister 555 Vision Ndewo, Minister Ajare, Bam Bam Bam, the Bam 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 Pastor of the day, Ndewo, God bless you. And we have a Minister, uh, if I hear which network is playing ping pong, ping pong with him, and uh, every other minister of the Gospel of Biafra that are they're spreading everywhere. Those of you that are on Twitter, on Facebook, on TikTok, on social, everywhere that you are, Instagram, we appreciate all your work. And the government of Biafra appreciate everything that you're doing on a daily basis. So keep up doing it. If you're just posting, you're sharing, you're liking, you're creating documentaries, social videos, you cut, you edit, you send, you post, you help everything to go far and wide. Please continue in what you're doing because you are contributing a very big factor to this very depression. So I leave the mic here to my minister, Bam Bam Bam. After then, it goes to 247. Then later, it goes to Minister 555. They were my ministers in the house. They were, they were. <clears throat> Please follow Bia France. Bia with me. Uh, too much enjoyment of the season have cracked my voice. <laughs> Hey, oh me. I greet you all, Omuchineke, and lovers of freedom. It's uh, what a wonderful season we are in. I want to, I want to celebrate every Biafran. I want to celebrate every Biafran. Every one of you, I want to celebrate you the Van 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 way. We have come a long way. We have done well. But the truth is that we are not resting our hours. We are not relaxing. You know, where we have gotten to, what it means is that we must buckle up because there are more hurdles to cross. There are more battles to fight. Because the one we don't fight win, the small one, compared to the one we go fight for front. So that is why, as they say, they praise DK for waiting in do. You go do more. Their friends, you have tried. Their friends in the home front, you have tried. Our prime minister is leading us well and is doing the needful to get us all our hard desire. And I want to appreciate all my fellow comrades in the house and my fellow ministers in the house. We are wonderful. Even the ministers that are not able to make it due to one thing or the other to this particular broadcast, you all are top notch. We have done well. And to Chuko Kabi be the glory. There's a lot to talk about tonight. I don't want to hang the mic for a long time. I just want to pass it across to my comrade to also salute Bia France. Thank you. Uh, so you don't talk again. The, you, you don't say your much. How much? Because I want to sell my own too. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Mazi. Thank you, my comrades in the studio, honorable ministers. I greet you all and uh, all dear friends all over the world. My greetings to you all and our leaders, our leaders anywhere they are. God bless them. Mazi Nam Degano, we must not forget what he is. <coughs> currently going through the health condition and that place is not his house and um our leader our prime minister as well may we remember obatobia mazi simon Eba. we must remember to honor respect follow just like our leader directed you must go and listen to him you must follow him because he is he has brought is no longer that he is bringing he has brought the new dimension and we can see all by ourselves for ourselves the new dimension and that is the new dimension of going home and uh, you can see that we're going home so dear friends all over the world if you have not joined this moving trend i will um, encourage you only to join 
So thank you and stay tuned this evening as we come your way. Anyway, you are watching from just try and share the program, like and share the program. Thank you so much and stay tuned. They will no more emotion again. Paul, over to you, sir. Yeah, thank you so much, my minister. <clears throat> Thank you, lovers of freedom all over the world. Thank you, Bia France, wherever you are watching. We say Mechuko Kika Biyama, bless you. I greet you, all my ministers in the house. I greet you, all the good works of uh, this movement. Anybody that is participating in any way he is participating. No matter the small you do, no matter the one you consider small, is mighty to this movement because nothing is small. In as much as you are here listening, sharing, informing others for this great movement, this great history we are making, praying, praying for our leader Mazen Nandekano, giving your wishes to our prime minister, motivating people you are also doing a great job because the vineyard is many the laborers are few try to be one of those who is contrib contributing immensely to this movement that your name will be remembered the afghan liberation army need your support they are the only protection you have as it stands now. Fulanis has come to kill and destroy. And nobody is asking them any question why they are killing you. Only you, only your participation can save you. Only your participation, only your contribution can give you hope again, you and your unborn children. For you to have life again, try to speak out and I try to support this movement. We love you. We love you, our members in the house, Van Van Van, 247, uh, Barawa, and every other person that is not here. I greet you all. May God Almighty give us wisdom to deliver this message to mankind. Thank you. Thank you, my ministers in the house. Uh, you just said something that uh, just uh, reminded us of uh, something that uh, PM posted earlier today. And uh, okay, <laughs> let us uh, project this thing so that let me use until laps more before we start this broadcast. Because you said. Um, the hope of every Biafran. The hope of every Biafran is on uh, the Biafra Liberation Army. So, <laughs> and it is only the Biafra Liberation Army. So, when you listen to this video here, that will just go in line with what you have just said. Let's play the video first before we go on. Watch out! Yeah, if now Nigeria police people, I better have a name for now. My uncle get kidnapped. I better get there for now. And I'm going to police guy by name of ya. The police have one. I know you have to speak with the gun. Don't ever stay there. I'm not going home. I'm here. I'm in Nigeria. See the police people shout. This is the commander. You can't hit that bush. Come on, see. I'm not going to get there. I'm going for now. Police people are here. They can't hit that bush. They are here. Tell them they can't. They can't get anywhere. See them. See them here. See them, see police people, see them. See all of them one by one. Come on, see them. See them, see them. Yeah, I'm going to police people. They're going to kidnap somebody from up. My uncle is going to now. They can't go and look for my brother. They say they can't go to the bush. See them. See them. Look at them one by one. See them. See them. Look at them one by one. They can't go and get my brother. They said they don't say that bush, they are afraid. They said they are afraid. Police people said they are afraid. We <laughs> don't. Mazi Paul, over to you. <laughs> because now you remind us 
of the importance of our uh, Biafra liberation army. <laughs> Connect the dots here. <laughs> Make you see what zoo, zoo army <laughs> and police. Yes, 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 my, my prime minister, my minister Abarawa, and lovers of freedom, anybody that is here, that we are here doesn't mean that we have more, more spare time than, to, than others. It is because of consign, because Hugo Kikabiyama has called us. He gave us the revolution long time ago, before Mazen Namdekano came and they opened our eyes. He Mazen Namdekano demanded that people should become journalists of their own because you have to tell your history yourself. Nobody is going to tell your history for you. This thing that is happening, CNN is aware of it. BBC is aware of it. Al Jazeera is aware of it. Igbo BBC in the zoo, they are the sponsors of these people that has come to be killing people. Today, you have you are seeing it. Mazen Nandekano has prophesied and lectured every one of us, informed each and every one of us that this thing will come. Nobody should say that it is a surprise. You can never in this life say that what you are watching now is a sur 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 surprise because since Usman Donfodio entered Nigeria, since 1804, he drew a map and he has been motivating his own people for this agenda. And they said that Nigeria is their own territory, their heritage, which you are going to watch. But in all this thing, only Biafran Liberation Army is the savior, physical savior you have. The physical savior you have, led by the by Biafran government in exile, which our prime minister is Simon Eber. And he says he is not coming here to fight like Ujuku. He is not here to fight like Amazon Namdekano. He has come to fight like Simon Eber and Joko or Batubi one. And that is why you see that. Nigerian government has no power to mention Biafran Liberation Army when Biafran Liberation Army take action. When Biafran Liberation Army take action, let them write Biafran Liberation Army because when they go on writing ESN, ESN are not defending Biafran land. ESN has been sold out. All this thing that is happening in that place is playing right in front of you. And the only savior you have is Biafran Liberation Army, Biafran government in exile. It is a government. A government is the only people you can call. All these people there, they kidnap your father, they kidnap your mother, they raped your sister, they butchered them. Call upon Biafran government in exile. Call upon our prime minister. Dedicate your case to them. Not calling the zoo, Nigeria, because they are there for the job. They called those military. They have just kidnapped people now. They are calling them. You have AK-47 to go after the people they just kidnapped right now. Go there. Let us run inside the bush. The military, we are there laughing at them because it is a planned deal. It is a planned deal. The military are there to protect the kidnappers. Why you would they will kidnap you? They give you a ransom to pay. When you pay the ransom, they will use the ransom to buy more ammunition to go on kidnapping other people. How long are you going to do it? And PM made an exposition here before. He said, well, after you have paid the ransom, you are coming out of that place without a receipt, meaning that you will be kidnapped again. 
the only option left for you found that found yourself in Nigerian territory or as a Biafran is Biafran Liberation Army. That's why we are calling on you to come and lay your support. Pay your tithe in that place. Pay your offering to support the people, the people whom God have sent to deliver you, to save you in a time like this. If not like this, you are gone. Malami says that Fulanis has already made a plan. They said it is either that the Biafrans will remain in exile or they will go six, six feet ground, underground. That is exactly what is playing there. And nobody is asking them, why are you killing these people? The only people whom Chuku Ikabiam has volunteered and they give to Biafran people is the Biafran Liberation Army. So what you are watching there is not a surprise. That is something that has been already in plan. Thank you, my minister, as we continue for the next opportunity. OK, thank you, uh, Minister. Two four seven uh, uh, five 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 position. Um, <coughs> Mr. Bam Bam Bam, over to you. And uh, as you want to connect the dots, use this one. Take connect the dots. Mm. The in this state is being is under assault. There is an attempt at ethnic cleansing in this state, and of course in all. <coughs> state of Nigeria. We must resist it. We must stop it. Every one of us must rise up. The armed forces are not neutral. They collude. They collude. They collude with the armed bandits that kill people, kill Nigerians. They facilitate their movements. They cover them. If you are depending on the armed forces to stop the killings, you will all die one by one. Yeah, thank you, thank you, my minister. Thank you, Mazi Paul Ongviko, and uh, my beloved brother, elder brother Mazugo. And uh, before I respond, I just I'm um, seeing the comment. Somebody, Noelin, saying, "Please, where, please, where do I redeem my donation?" Uh, Noelin, you, if you make a donation, you go online and pay it. Go to the website and pay it. www.ipobusa.org. You should do that by now. In case you don't know, call your rep, call your rep, and they will tell you. I don't know where you are. I think you're in the UK. Where are you, Nolin? Call the rep in UK. If you don't have their number, you have my number. Call me. I'll give you the number of your rep. So you go and redeem your donation. Thank you. Now, you see the police <laughs> are on the highway, and the kidnapping just took place under their nose. Under their nose. What they are interested in is the people they will collect bribe and collect money for. They nothing concern them with kidnapping that was done because, like you just watched the video right now that my minister just played, the armed forces they collude. Police, you know, is part of the armed forces. So, if you think that the police don't know what they are doing, then you have been deceived. The police, they know that the kidnappers is not their own problem. As far as Nigeria is concerned, that part is not their problem. The, the, the federal government is a government of kidnappers. So why will kidnappers be the problem of the armed forces? Whereby you already know that they collude. So the only people the police will go after, have it been they told them, some IPOB people just pass now with flag. They just drive past. They are going. You will see them moving. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? They will go after them. And they will not just go after them. They will shoot them. But now, kidnappers under their nose, kidnap people. And why 
the thing is funny is that these people that are lamenting and crying go and tell them now some of them there tell them about a referendum for biafra going on tell them about the biafra liberation army protecting and defending our land tell them about butuzo and his invisible angels they will tell you they are going against government and they need to uh, they need to respect nigerian law and other now the nigerian law you see them there now did they protect you you are videoing them you are videoing them hey look at police look at police did you see them hiding their face did you see them telling you don't video me because they know that your video is rubbish nobody is going to answer you you are wasting your time you are wasting your time so everyone that already knows what is going on that is those that are connected to the biafra republic government both in the de facto and in exile those that are submissive to the leadership of the prime minister yes, Simon Ekba, now understand that there is a new sheriff in town they know what is happening and they know where to cry to <coughs> they don't cry to nigeria police they don't cry to nigeria government they don't tell police uh, they kidnap one help rather police will tell you uh, there is an account number where you will pay money for the terrorists to redeem to release those that were kidnapped you will give police will help you to go and give them money to release the person they kidnapped they will even negotiate with them and talk with them so we we have already created so much awareness about this so if you are new into this and you are just getting inundated with it please brace up and know that Biafrans, we know what we are up against and we are giving them, you know, conflict to conflict, war to war, gun to gun. That's what we are giving them in Biafra land. The only place that we have authority to do those kind of kidnap is that place you see them, you know, in that side of the divide. But in Biafra land, it no longer happens because we have already taken charge of our territory. We are now in charge. Thank you, my minister. I hand over the microphone. Thank you, Wanchenegger. Minister, 247, over to the place. Ande Womazi, thank you so much. Uh, Biafrans, well, we see what it happened now. We, you don't need anybody to explain to you. In a situation like this, we hope no day, and the hope is not coming. That is why me and go they see ask those people that are praying for Nigeria. You cannot get anything better than what you are seeing now. Short, what you are seeing now is hundred percent heaven to what you are going to see after you pray. Nigeria can never be revised. Nigeria, the oxygen where they give them air nigeria day for um oh, yeah nigeria is in on, on oxygen and that oxygen is biafra and uh, the biafra they don't come out for a month the oxygen has been plucked out of the uh, nigeria nose and mouth so nigeria is dying Nobody say it there for drink again. Nigeria don't you don't the enter inside six feet as more time you go reach. So if you did there and you still the believe say hope they ask yourself all the kidnappings where you they see na near police near army they have police and army are protecting the funani terrorists or bandits instead of protecting you. Imagine say na you. Maybe you follow with your brother, they go somewhere, kidnap us, a phone and kidnap us, come kidnap your brother, you escape. And you see police there, you see they look, they see the phone and as they, they walk and go, they never go far. You they see their back and you they beg police. I beg, me will go bring my brother. The police tell you, with the gun, no, they carry gun, they they wear armed. They tell you, say, we know they go. Nobody say, don't be say after they we know they go that 
they are they the fear they the fear those funani they no one go because they the fear them so understand and ask yourself where is your hope coming from the bible said i looked upon the mountains behold where will my hope come from your hope comes from diaphra through mazi simon Egba. i don't know if your hope is in tinubu i don't know if your hope is in hopus or them soludo i don't know where you put your hope oh, but the truth be said if the police that are meant to save you cannot save you this is not the first time if you remember during the election show much that runs mad today i see him for apc they do nigeria fine you don't forget yesterday show much went to vote and there's somebody threatened her she run to police and police asked her ah that one if they keep people low, no go close again and the show much get more to come talk her for social media the following day she still they go to nigeria the bias na they believe that their life, their future, everything is in Nigeria. It's not in Nigeria. Even that guy now that is crying, police, come and help me. Maybe if you ask him now, do you know Simon Egba? go say that criminal in Finland. But it don't happen. The same thing that made you call Simon a criminal has happened to you. The same Nigeria that made you call simon a criminal that made you say let him down the color rot there it has happened to you and don't think it end there it doesn't end there it will continue to happen unless somebody put a stop and the stop is biafra this is not the first time we saw the other time the other way uh, in middle belt uh, Funani were there, um, military were there, just about one pull away. When Funani stopped, uh, uh, um, a boss of those going for traditional way, I massacred all of them before the military. The military did nothing. They even videoed it and videoed the military watching them because they have been told these people, they are untouchable. This you are gone. The day you raise it on them, you are gone. And somebody is there thinking that their fry is their problem. No, keep fighting against your own freedom. Keep fighting against your freedom. But one thing I want to tell everybody say is either you are in or you are out. You don't go feel put two legs like this. Now, only one in this your two legs, you go put on one place. Their frag will come with you or without you, with me or without me. Their no not know who be who. The only thing their recognizes who is willing and who is obedient. Those that are still waiting, hoping. You see, those people you see, they go carry police with the, one day, Funani go jam you, you go take police to shoot. Police go tell you no, I got some make no shoot for na new. For na go carry you like a cat. They go carry you like cats. You no get salvation anywhere. No hope, no salvation. The only salvation, the only freedom, the only life you have is Biafra. If you like, no come. If you like, the fight against Biafra. But a time will come when you will need Biafra. But make sure you pray that it doesn't it doesn't get too late. Mazindewo. Thank you, thank you, my ministers in the house. You know, when you look at the video, it's uh, very, very touching. You see people that are in disarray, people that are in trouble, hoping and thinking that they have a security that is supposed to protect them and to put their 
interest at heart. But what they misunderstood and refused to accept is that we have been telling them that the zoo is gone. The over 313 Fulani terrorists, is what I see that were released, that were swapped for the 132 children that were uh, released, which they kidnapped. They kidnapped over 600 and something. They now released 300. And uh, 13. So more are still in custody because that is not the only one that was kidnapped. They kidnapped plenty of people. So when they release these people, where are they? When you hear that 90,000 Boko Haram terrorists is what have been reintegrated into the police, the army, the air force, the navy, and everything that answers what Nigeria. Where do you think they are going to? When you hear that in Niger State that they have the highest population of the Fulani uh, jihadist terrorists. What do you think they are doing? In Niger State, they have a toll gate that they are collecting taxes. In Borno, over eight local government, they are in charge. The government of Nigeria does not penetrate since 2014. They are the ones doing everything. They put their own law, they implement everything, they collect taxes from the people, and they do whatever they want to do. You will not see the journalists go and talk about it or cry over it. No. Everybody will keep mute when it comes to the Biafran people. They want to nail them on every media platform. Go to every media platform now. What is trending is Biafra, IPOB, Biafra, IPOB, Simon Epa. Simon Epa everywhere. But you cannot hear them discussing in depthly about the full and had these theories of what they are doing and what they are planning to come to do. No, you will not hear that one. So when they told them, Oh, they kidnap our brother, enter the bush. Who do you want them to enter bush to go and catch? You want them to enter bush to go and catch their uh, uh, fellow or kakpata kpata that they are working together. They don't go enter bush, go catch them. Because they are working in one accord. Those ones that are in the bush doing the kidnapping, they are part of them. They just divided them into divisions and segments. So they have the division that have to be in the bush to do the full soldier work of the conquest agenda, the jihad, which they have to be striking. Then you now have this other one in uniform in the town that has to come and cover them up. That is why that human said, they collude, they cover them up, they eat them, they lead them, they aid them and abet them, they shield them while the masses are massacred on daily basis. These people, what they do is that they put them all together to make it more. So, Biafran people, you now understand when our minister, Balabar Vision, said that the only hope of the Biafran people is the Biafran Liberation Army. You now understand where he was coming from. That video has explained everything to you, and you should get it very clear. Because the only hope and the only security that you have is the Biafran <coughs> Liberation Army. No other thing that can save you. If two terrorists stand and you divide some, put for back, put some for front, put some for middle, you say, make this one go catch the other one, you don't go catch them. No, you don't go catch them. So terrorists will not go and catch terrorists. They will only take them and kill them. You saw how they were enjoying it. Like my minister, Bam 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 said, they were not afraid to show their faces on the camera. While you were shouting and shouting and shouting and saying, hey, see the they cannot go and catch the terrorists. They are here. Look at them. They are very proud. They were showing their faces on the camera proudly so that you will see their faces well. Because they all came from the same place. They know that their brothers are the ones inside the bush doing the kidnapping. So they know how they will go and balance the equation later. So, the African people, brazen up and support your liberation because this is the only way out. Now, in the same vein, before we go to the next thing that is on the show, in the same vein, there is another update that uh, our prime minister just brought up again. Let us project that one again before we go to other things, because this one goes in line. So we have to connect all the dots so that you see them all. the suicide bombers are set the response would be. 
Finland-based Biafra agitator, right, Simon Ekba, says he is planning his defense against two suicide bombers allegedly sent to neutralize him in the European country. Ekba, who claimed the suicide bombers are sent by the federal government of Nigeria, said he escaped the same situation last year. He insisted that Biafra declaration will be on the 2nd of December 2024. The Biafra agitator submitted that no amount of threat will stop it. However, Ekba acknowledged his fighter's decision to resort to what they describe as a spiritual battle against the federal government of Nigeria. Ekba's fighters had in two separate videos vowed to start a spiritual warfare for Biafra's independence after attack some security personnel. Now, there was a video that showed the moment they rented the forest with live chickens and it trended online last week one day he's actually saying according to him that there will continue to be a liberation for biafra and a few days ago tiger who is known as a notorious member and fighter of iron pop resurfaced in a video showing the moment he attacked men of the nigerian army on the order of simon Epa. barrister uh, uh, dalenton do you think simon Epa is on the right path with most of these proclamations he's making uh, Elsa, do you know that the federal government is the cause of this agitation in the South East? Can you explain The federal that? government is the, is the problem of, of the South East and nothing else. Elsa, imagine if the federal government didn't have to worry about this to come. What is your problem? Eh? You saw how the federal government has been pampering terrorism in the South East in the North. I don't know if you what is your problem? You refuse, what are you? deploy army. You deploy army to go and kill all of them. And you think they will not soft enough? No, they will not do. The federal government is the problem in the country. I'm saying it here now. If they are all over people for a lot of discussion, if you can fight them, give them what they want. Why can't you fight them with who are self determination group? Eh? You may go to the water in Nigeria. That's why they want to leave. The federal government of Nigeria has marginalized the Southeast for a long time. That is why these boys are risen up. And they are not even making effort to talk to a Eh? How can you solve a problem like that? Oh. But Barry Sedalenton, a lot of critics say that uh, Simon Epper is not helping the situation, especially for young boys who are residing in the Southeast. A couple of them who are not going to school who are literally redundant at home, are being brainwashed into joining this movement. And of course, we've been seeing videos recently of the Nigerian army flushing out most of the enclaves where they think some IPOP insurgents, you know, actually reside in. We even saw pictures of shallow graves where they were able to dig out bodies of dead persons who were kidnapped along the road. So the question now, Barrister Darlington, is... In, re in regards to the situation with Simon Epa, do you think that most of the statements he's making and causing confusion supposedly is what is distorting the peace in the South is and maybe making those young boys feel that joining this particular group is the only alternative they have to properly exist? What, what do you think? It is, the, uh, it is the attitude of the federal government. They don't have any regard for the South East. They only go there to make speeches during the election. They have not recognized the Igbo man since after the war. That is what is causing this for the nothingness. Look at how one man the car is being treated. All people who have done war things in Nigeria, look at how they were treated. Now, look at it, just suppose we can see whether it is fair. These are the things that are causing the problem in, in the Southeast. If you are treated unfairly in your father's house, will you be happy? Tell me. Go and check all the other regions. How many of them have contributed more than the Igbo in Nigeria? How many of them? All these other regions. You know what the factors are contributing in Nigeria? Yes. What of anything has to do with them? The federal government does feel on one channel. Eh? Why yeah, have not kept them the kind of in that prison for this long? This young man has said, leave me, let me go and stop what is going on there. They refuse. That's that they refuse. But you saw how many people are released in the north. For what? They've released and they've been integrated. Eh? Why can't they release man the down? The man that told them that we think we eat the free today. Everything in the south is concerning the country is not. Yeah, the government doesn't want to listen. But you saw how they clown the terrorists in the in Zapara. 
the plan him, the plan him in Zafara. Government officials went there after. Eh? And you are telling me that they should be happy with the Southeast. What for? Tell me what for? Why did they land the car to do all this? That their bottom was in the north. Mention it. So, whatever is going on in the, in the Southeast, the federal government should be held responsible. They are the most poorly in the country in the, in the Southeast. And why should not be killing people and everybody there to be killing, killing our young men? Meanwhile, in the north, they are, look at what is going on. And when they arrest them, they will be getting into the society. They will pamper them. Even the terrorists are protesting that the food they get them is not uh, up to standard. And meanwhile, a state determination group, you let them. They are not putting to them. You are ready you deploy army. How do you think you are, you are, you are going to solve the problem through that means? Well, Barista, so is, is, it it possible, is it possible, according to someone, Emma's allegation that they sent suicide bombers to him all the way at, at Finland? That they sent suicide bombers. Is, it, is that actually, is it a reality that the federal government can actually take upon themselves? At uh, this time where most of the resources in terms of having to awaken the Nigerian economy is what is needed. Will the federal government go to that length for one individual? Uh, I don't know what you are saying. is it because that is me black out the countries? They are not watching, just that they don't want the press to report what is going on there. They don't want the press to report it, especially in Nemo State, where Hopu Zadema is the governor. I don't know whether Hopu Zadema is presiding over the graveyard of Nemo State, or is presiding over the living people of Nemo State. Eh? Go and see what is going on there. So they are not watching, so they are not watching, it's just that it got to come. The United Nations will probe what has been going on in the United States, especially in the United States. They will probe it. Whether they like it or not, the ICC are taking notes. At the end of the day, they will tell us what to the Cabo or any other person the fact have done against the federal government. They will tell us. Look at people who have killed one thousand and entire village in the North. Here is an entire village. They are even for occupied people's homeland. They are even up for the federal government is aware of these people. They are aware that some people, we don't know where they came from. They are occupying villages in Denver and their places. The federal government did not see anything wrong with that. They did not. That's why they did not. But when somebody comes to the party, they will run the party. You don't have to run the government. Barista Darling, finally, before I let you go, right? Uh, the Catholic Bishop of Sacramento Diocese, Marthi Kuka, he has described Nigeria's past and present leaders. Okay, yes. You know, Biafran people and uh, some of the lawyers and barristers of the Biafran extract, they are waking up and they are firing the cylinders the way it should be. So when you listen to this one now, you see that the man did a very good work. The same way the other retired uh, policeman, uh, Eze Hillary, answered the other one on TCV News the other day that told him, EPA is not a terrorist. IPOB is not a terrorist group. We know the real terrorists. And Simon EPA, being a Biafran agitator who is fighting for freedom, his name shouldn't be included amongst the names of terrorists. Because we in one Nigeria, we know all those that are the real terrorists, which they are negotiating every day. While that man was speaking, they cut him off the line. <laughs> <laughs> so, my ministers in the house, they're going to they uh, put Maggie and Pepe for this talk before we go. Baba, Baba, over to you. <laughs> this, is very, this is very interesting. You know? this, uh, these narratives are getting very, very interesting and exciting. You know, uh, the person she was, the person on the call was a barrister. Am I, am I right? Is that a barrister? Be? Somebody that was a a legal, uh, yeah, correct. Yes, it's a legal practitioner that was speaking. Wow, yes. wow, wow. And you see the way the lady, the way the guy was talking, you know, truth comes with fire. The fire of truth from this particular barrister, it was burning the ears of the lady. If you notice it, she was adjusting her speaker because the truth was burning like fire. <laughs> The thing was explosive. 
Okay, all right. Those are police people uh, on the street. Fine. So this lady, she was trying everything possible to tell uh, this caller that uh, look, you know, someone You know, the people in the south is jobless, and uh, instead of going to school, they are joining this. Who is this lady? I don't even know who this lady is. No, she is a brand brand envelope journalist, Esther. Okay, that's her name, Esther. Brown envelope journalist. Ah, Brown Esther. Brown hey. envelope, Brown envelope. Brown envelope Esther. <laughs> you see, and she was displaying the characteristics of Brown envelope. Complete. Complete. Now, this is somebody, all the news, and this guy that was answering her was pointing her to the epicenter of evil and wickedness pointing her to the major centers where terrorism is going on telling her that even terrorists receive chieftaincy title honorable title in a society they are given accolades and celebrated telling her she did not make any comment about that not even one comment she keep talking Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, the one that actually hit her, this her coconut envelope head, is where she's telling the man that is it possible? Can the federal government really send terrorists after Simon Ekpa? The guy tell him, tell him, say, have they not done worse? <clears throat> have they not done worse? Sending terrorists after Simon Ekpa is a child's play compared to what they have done and you know the beauty of it all they can never debunk any of these very justifiable questions that come to them i'm telling you so it is so beautiful that we dear friends we are taking the bull by the horn that is why everything our prime minister is doing he is playing by the international justice books of the law in the whole world nobody when you see Martin Nam the car in their court telling them look in this very court this court here i will defeat them he said the whole world will see it he said where is it uh, 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 the uh, the uh, uh, treasonable felony where is it is it not gone he said this said terrorism charge i will decipher them in their court and the whole world will see it. Look at them. Look at her. These people are so shameless. All the things that this guy pointed out, very hideous crimes going on in the zoo, this brown envelope Esther did not even point it out at all. She was not concerned. Her only interest is, let us talk about Simon Ekpa. Let us destroy Simon Ekpa. Uh, he said, the shallow grave and all that. <coughs> that all these things she said are just mere allegations without any proof. Oh. But there are evidences to what the man that she's talking to is actually pointing out and she doesn't want to go to that uh, area because they have been defeated and they have been defeated hands down. Thank you very much, my comrades. I yield the mic here. Thank you, Wanchi Neke. Mazi247, over to you, please. Well, um, the barista has done justice to everything, okay? The barista do everything. He just analyze everything the way they should be. And uh, if you go fit, do a make a picture small, make it no big like that. Make a picture small, make a picture no big because um, she never is. She narrated your narrated your presenter, she be yeah, yeah, she's a radio presenter in Rufai Studio. That is Rufai Oseni Studio. So, 
I saw this video today, but uh, due to time, I, I could not. I did not listen to all of them. But thank God, somebody edited it, and uh, now we have it here. So, if you listen to the man, number one, I am happy that at least some people could not come out like me and you, but they are speaking up. If every, if every Biafran will be speaking up like this. And the world will be listening to them like this. I tell you the truth. Eh? That thing where did they hide for for night? Now for broad daylight, they go come open up themselves with their hands. That's the truth. Because the, the problem where we get is say, we know say we get problem, but we they pretend to say nothing that happened. Nothing that happened. The thing go they key you, you they pretend say you know that happen. You see what the man said. There, that's from the analyze from the analyzation of the uh what the man was telling the girl. The girl, everything there is nothing Nigeria has not done, and there is nothing they cannot do. <coughs> There is nothing Nigeria cannot do that can go to devil's uh, uh, devil's uh, bedroom to get whatever. It, if it, as long as it can be done, as long as money is answerable to that, they will do it. So then, when you hear that they sent, they are sending, or they have already sent to, fill, it doesn't matter. Let them send. This is not the first time. You remember they sent before. When they uselessly went their last two years or last year summer. So we know the God we will get. We know who we are. I mean, they go, they will not survive, they will not succeed. They be not be saying you want go be now. When you go, you go go rich. You remember that our prime minister also get over one a per Simon Aka or a Pichani get mega quiet mega because he Pichania could see up or no. If you look at what is happening now, the man has explained everything. One man, one man in the north, that dogo gide now, one man in the north, in a day, killed 18 soldiers, only one man, only one man, 18 soldiers, under just in a few hours. Nothing was done. No village was go. The, the military did not go for revenge. Only that same man brought down so many military fighter jets. Nothing that happened. Only that man is a traditional ruler. Only that man, they give contract to Chinese. But uh, if Bam 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 say Biafra, eh, Lufram, kill him, cut his head. The two four seven one talk of broken mouth who tell I make it and the, the worst part of all this is that they are using our own family to fight us but the truth is that like I used to say if you like make yourself an instrument in the hands of the useless people you will become useless just like them with or without you Biafra will come but when Biafra come you will be uh, will you be among those that will cry oh see what i have done to myself that's the question you should be asking yourself because this biafra when you see things happening like this every obstacle they, they bring all those this one first that means it is working what we are doing it is working i'm telling you the truth and uh, nothing they cannot stop this Biafra. We don't even need their round table talk again. It, the time has passed. All we want is freedom. We want to go. The only round table talk is how do you want to separate? Do you want to help us to pay the bills? Because so now owe too much for, 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 for um, Chinese people hand. So that is the kind of roundtable, not a restructure. You cannot restructure that man where don't die in bone scatter. Can you make him bring him back to life? No. 
it is not possible so it don't rot they don't bury them it don't rot the bones are scattered you can't get even complete bones again so what you want restructure what is that what do you want to restructure nothing thank you Mazi. thank you my minister something we no get structure what do you want to restructure? What do you I, want I, to I, package I, to come to restructure? When you say, it don't even get structure at all. In the like a moeba. A moeba, when you carry a moeba, a moeba go fall, go this time. Fall, go this time. It will just lay like shit. Uh, my minister, bye, 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 Bishop. Over to you. <laughs> yes, please. yes. Thank you so much. You know, if it is me, I will say you should put that picture back. You know, because a picture speaks more than a thousand words. You know, uh, our okay. my minister. Make I put the picture only for that right up. My, my minister so two four seven. The right up. Yes, it's like good like this. My minister two four seven said something before. He said, "Where will your help come from? Where will your help come from?" And when you check this. Mazen Namdekano said, go and uh, understand very, very well before Mazen Namdekano leaving, he says, these people are brown envelope journalists. And uh, one of our brother here, Nguero Nwe Biafra TV, says, cash and the report journalist. Look at them. Just look at them. You will understand exactly what is really going on. That the Biafrans, we are telling you that we ask, where will your help come from? Then, understanding the scripture very, very well. This woman, Esther, brand envelope cash and carry journalist tell her and let her know that the Mazen Nandekano created the radio where he educated the Biafrans before going to lead in front this woman without her says is it possible for a whole nation like Nigeria to sponsor suicide bomber to Finland Anybody who is watching, send this message to this cash and carry, cash and the report journalist, the brand envelope. That Nigerian government has placed a bounty on PM. Nigerian government has placed $500 million bounty. They placed black check bounty. And they they have been sponsoring people to Finland for a very long time, even before Helsinki declaration. And this person, Esther, brown envelope a journalist, look at them. All these people that used to go up and down, wherever they see, they will sleep and they carry one paper and begin come and read. This person didn't hear that the Shetima says that they will make the life of Igbo people uncomfortable in Lagos. This person, Esther, didn't hear that in, in Abuja today, they are burning people's market. This person, Esther, brand envelope journalist, never knew that all the plan of Usman Danfodio, Fulanis, they are all they are doing is just to conquer her. And she is an she will claim to become Igbo people, Igbo person. These are the kind of people Fulani is pregnant their mother and gave birth to them in Igbo, Igbo, Igbo in, in, in Biafra land. These are the kind of people she is asking. She is trying to convince the barrister. The barrister now is teaching her her job. 
telling her now that what Simon Eber is doing, even in Nambekan, has not even gotten justice. And she claimed she is representing, look at how she look like. That's why I say you should put it so that when we are talking, people will know whom we are talking to. People will know whom we are talking to. Do you think that this person, she is re receiving minimum wage of 30,000 naira, 50,000 naira? That is why they will write this kind of jargon and they give to her to come and read. She was thinking that when she called this barrister to come and report, the, that the, the barrister will dance on her tone. Because I say we should put her picture here because you bring out something, you show it to the, to the dog, that there is the dog will know you are not talking rubbish. This girl never knew that they have been kidnapping people in the Eastern Zone. They have been raping people because she has never followed the victim. Because of brand envelope she received, that's why she is trying to change the narrative in this place. But let her know that we all are journalists. We know our right. From diaspora, we will bring Biafra. And the true internet, we will deliver the message down to our people for them to know what to do. Look at them, frustrated people. Frustrated human being in this very life. Look at them, brand envelope, journalist. Eh? Cash and the report, journalist. Trying to change the narrative when you know that the Fulanese have surrendered everywhere. Killing and raping every other person because you have not fallen their victim. Or maybe she is giving them, for them to give them paper to go and read. And you think we all will we stay here and keep quiet because you can you they give your mic a phone to speak inside the inside the FM. You understand? Imagine this kind of people. How long will this thing happen? But to be a friends, what you people must know is where will your help come from? The only help you have today, in as much as we have torn around this universe. And we found out there is no other help. United Nations is not coming to help you. European Union is not coming to help you. They all are the blood sucking demons. Your help will only come from Simon eh, Biafran Liberation Army, government in exile. That is the only way place your help will come from. Not this envelope people, but brand envelope journalists that we give that we that we come here and begin to talk trash. I will send our thanks to that barrister whom she is she was trying to deceive thank you my my comrades thank you thank you my ministers and to cap up uh, this very segment before we go to the next agenda <laughs> this is how we address these people going forward if you want to be noticed today in nigeria Call yourself one thing. You can give yourself even a bosom when we're doing a bosom. Take one name now. Just right. Samanepa. You drag Samanepa to, to, to Washington. You drag Samanepa. Bam. It may appear. If you want to advertise your, your organization and you have been trying and trying and trying and nobody is listening to you. If you want your organization to be published for Nigerian newspaper. Right, that Simon Emperor, that I think Simon Emperor will be highest court in the world. Bam! You are going to appear in Vanguard. Just send it to Vanguard. If you want to be noticed today in Nigeria, call yourself one thing. You can give yourself even a bosome when we're doing a bosome. Take one name now. Just right, Simon Emperor. You drag Simon Emperor to, to, to Washington. You drag Simon Emperor. Bam! It may appear. If you want to advertise your, your organization and you have been trying and trying and trying and nobody is listening to you, if you want your organization to be published for Nigerian newspaper, write that Simon Emperor, that you are taking Simon Emperor to the highest court in the world. Bam! You are going to appear in Vanguard. Just send it to Vanguard. Yes, as simple as that. If they These don't people don't know how prepared. They don't know how prepared we are. They don't just know. <laughs> don't know. If they don't put as the topic of that show, eh? 
it will not garner all the audience. Excuse, excuse, excuse. Yes, my, my, minister, minister, God, God. my minister, excuse. Please send this message to all these brand envelope journalists. Tell them that after they have recruited 500,000 dogs that has barked, that this media here defeated all of them. We use those 500,000 dogs they recruited to learn now. We know the game, we know how to play the game, and this propaganda, we are champion in how or how to quench their, their fire. Look at the kind of people that want to come and stand in front of Van Van Van. Van Van Van, our dog pieces. Who go 247 now? In our but our ego complete. What is it? Do you people think, do you people just know, know the kind of people you are coming to face? And your dog pieces in this place. Tell them that we have destroyed 500,000 recruited dogs. And today we are in exile. We are in a, we are the government. And today, Biafran Liberation Army is guiding everywhere. Tell them how many, how many are them. So let us go. Thank you, Mazipo, for reminding us of that uh, 500. And something thousand a year in, Tell Esther, <laughs> tell Esther, she, uh, she will score this. Tell her we destroy <laughs> 500, half a million. <laughs> half a million. Where are those uh, e rats that were recruited before the election of 2023? <laughs> Imagine, maybe you know, they, all these people they've been sleeping when we are there. Has gone where the other has gone now. You, you, where are the one babies that they tied that walk out with the. On the streets of Italy, all of them are gone. They are inside the box of one Nigeria. One Nigeria has boxed all of them, and somebody has dehumanized all of them. Masugo, Masugo, you know the one for the team. They actually came out and told everybody that they have not been fighting Nigeria government, that they have not been facing our enemies. That they, they should tell themselves the truth. They said it. And the, the truth is that after they said that, did they ever change their course to begin to fight for freedom? No. They still continue to fight their the 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 fight. They said it. If they said it live and direct, you know, you people know that we are no longer fighting Nigeria. Nigeria, they, they said they said that they they are no longer the problem of nigeria nigeria does not care about them anymore so which is to say they already know that the people that nigeria are concerned about is that is why you see in the media anytime my someone name is mentioned like our prime minister is saying it they take it serious the journalists will want to focus on it journalists focus on someone like guardian newspaper vanguard all of them Including IPOB Nigeria, all of them focus on Simon Epa. Oh, without Simon Epa, they will not have anything to say now. They they should know. They should know that before we join this struggle, we let them know that the bees and the ants of the earth will join this struggle, and the, even the dorms will begin to speak. You see the kind of interview since that time they put our prime minister as a as a terrorist. The bees, the dumps are talking. The bees are fighting everywhere now. The ants are, are fighting because we are the children of God. God ordained and he said, I will put my word in your mouth. Go and speak. When you speak, he will put it into manifestation. Did we see the face of the barrister? This is, these are the ten we titled before voice of the angels we have made a lot of program here before when we where we tag voice of the angels we don't see these are angels talking so biafra is a spirit biafra is a spirit fighting for itself you go to bible bible you hear when god when israel was suffering what we are suffering today god says whom can i send to go and speak for my people Mazen Nambe Kanu say, Oh God, send me. 247 say, Oh God, send me.
Van 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 say, oh God, send me. Abarawa say, oh God, send me. Government in exile say, oh God, send me. Somebody asked our prime minister when he visited the Nordic yesterday. He said, do you need another thing? Do you have another thing you need for Biafra to come? The prime minister said he don't need any other thing. Only that hundred men, which Mazenanda Kano demanded from God Almighty, is enough to bring Biafra. And those hundred men are here. You understand? These are bodies, bodies, different bodies, branches of people, branches of activities, branches. So let them know. That we are not afraid because Chuku Kitabiyama sent us to what we are doing. This what we are doing is not canal. This is spiritual. Let them know this. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Backward. Okay. Let us go into opening the eyes of some Fulani people. Then at the end of the day, we will now cap up with uh, the propaganda leaflet that they now left in the Afra land, telling us that we, as IPOB, indigenous people of Biafra, we should not be IPOB again. <laughs> that we should rather come and be Fulani <laughs> in our own land. <laughs> hey, okay, Masugo, please um, project uh, the video of uh, Gumi, where he said that all the Fulani terrorists are coming all over from the wall come and join forces with the ones in Nigeria to fight the jihad. Please, can I, can I, can I, ask, for, can I ask for something? If I want to finish somebody, I finish that person completely. Tag that idiot here, that journalist. Let the whole world finish that person. Because we they do with the show. Let the whole world finish that. Let just put her in one corner. We will use that person to make program until we finish. And she okay, will watch this and they know yes. that her own father and the mother has been raped. Father, what that on the screen? Yeah, yeah, this. I hear you are wired. Don't hear you. Hear you. Don't hear you. Don't hear you. Don't hear you. Give her, give her one, give her one. Plan. Does other join us? Make sure they one corner. Yeah, yeah. Then we will. Uh, we will. We will. We will. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Then we. Then she will understand. Yes, they are physical. Everything they are planning. Nigerian right. Ah, may she join us. May she join us. <laughs> they are, yes, they are physical. Everything they are planning. Nigerian Oh, you know they are Nigerians. No doubt about that. They are Nigerians. Yes, in fact, some of them have parents in the in the in the town. So, I, for those who say some of these criminals are non-Nigerians. Oh. Who move uh, through the Ekoa's uh, territory, territory uh, yes. into Nigeria? Is that true? What What happened is, you see, <coughs> I said now we are having an ethnic war. The Fulani nomadic feels his existence is threatened. So what they do is, when they have a war, <coughs> they they call other Fulani, <coughs> other countries irrespective of where they are flooded, flooded. they go to defend their placement <coughs> then the back of this one goes back to Sroga. So the, that's why they they, they, they they what you call it they, they, they transit the borders just for your operation and go back the there is calm and there's peace you not see this kind of uh, caution of foreign elements into the nation and that's why it's very important. Uh, the government is very proactive in this issue. Let's go in, let's educate them, let's register them, let, let us do what we do to others. Yes, thank you so much. The video has been played and we have gotten the message from there, so we will add some paper to that. And um, uh, two four seven, uh, you can also play the other one. That one of the uh, Niger State at uh, the highest population of the Fulani is from Niger State because they all go together in the same vein. Let's all 
uh, the Nobel House of Representatives, uh, to also thank Mr. President uh, for his own uh, for his uh, support, and uh, we need a lot of collaboration with both uh, uh, the local communities, the presidency, and even the state. Uh, we are looking at two options. First is non-kinetic. As a government, we have uh, uh, put in machineries to start talking to the bandits, the other elements that are not uh, in tandem with uh, uh, living uh, peacefully. So as a government, uh, we've created a ministry of uh, nomadic and uh, pastoral affairs to look at the issues of the Fulani headsmen. You need to understand that Niger State is the, has the largest congregation in the world of Fulani headsmen. Niger State has uh, 8.3 million hectares of land with bodies of water. Uh, uh, the pastoral uh, environment is very good for raising uh, a lot of Fulani across the world, not just Africa, you know, converge in Niger State. So we don't want them to leave. So we don't want any major military activities. We want to talk to them. But if uh, uh, if uh, we don't get uh, to that uh, uh, level, then probably we have to go fully military. That all the members of the. Yes, thank you, Mwachineke. The message uh, has been delivered there, yeah? and it is very, very clear. So, on this very note, I will give the mic to uh, Pastor Bam 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 to put more light and explain something to the Biafran people. Gumi said something that all the full and terrorists in all over the world that they are coming to defend their jihad. You know, <coughs> Then the other man <clears throat> in Niger State, that is where they have the highest numbers of them. Then he said another thing that they have created a ministry for them. So while Fulani terrorists and their leaders are creating ministries <coughs> with money that is created in Biafra land and sent to them. They use it to create ministry and pay them. On top of that, they are still keep sending them to school, giving them good health, send them to America to go and school and Qatar. <coughs> yes, they have ministry. But our own Igbo and a full governors are digging the graves of their friends. Over to you, my minister, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, I wish I know the surname of this uh, Esther. I wish I know her, her full, complete names. So I want to be addressing her. We're using her as a, as a point of contact to reach other journalists, brand envelope journalists in the zoo. Now, Gumi, in a, on national TV, national TV admits that the Fulani are involved in ethnic war. I don't know if Biafras are listening or if this journalist Esther and her cohorts, brown envelope journalists, are actually listening. I know they are listening, but they they are so mammon infested. They have loved mammon so much instead of the lives of people that are perishing in the zoo. Somebody on open TV told you that the Fulani are in ethnic war. Now, are, are the Igbo people in ethnic war? No. Are Yoruba people in ethnic war? No. Are Hausa people in ethnic war? No. Fulani are in ethnic war. Ethnic war means that one ethnic group is fighting other ethnic group, isn't it? Now, the last time we checked, there is no other ethnic group in that contraption that is fighting any other person. But Fulani, Fulani have already admitted that they, they are in ethnic war. Against who? Against all that ethnic group in that contraption. And that doesn't trouble these people. That doesn't disturb them. Now, the governor of Niger State comes out, he's telling you, they know, they do not deny 
They are not even protecting the criminals. They know that it is Fulani people that committed the crime. That the blood they are talking about is on their hands. They know. But what they are saying, that they are pleading for leniency. Because there are so many Fulani. We have many, many land. Let us not bring uh, army to fight them. But the question is, the crime committed, who committed it? Is it not Fulani? Do they deny it? No. This wicked, senseless, brown envelope journalist, do they deny that it is not Fulani that is committing the crime? The ethnic war, Esther, they say, okay, Esther Umachuku is her name. And can you even believe that the people they actually use are Biafrans against fellow Biafrans? Esther Umachuku, did you not listen to Gumi? Did you not listen to the governor? Gumi said that Fulani is ethnic is an ethnic war. Ethnic war against your own tribe. Ethnic war against Yoruba. Ethnic war against the, the, the Arawa. Nobody is fighting them. And the truth is that they are not from Arawa. They are not from Yoruba land. They are not from Biafra land. Where are they from? From Futajalon. Nigeria is not their indigenous land. But they come there and they are bringing ethnic war. And you are here talking about a man that is defending his people against the Fulani that have brought ethnic war to his own people. And you know that uh, uh, the, the, the army general, uh, what is that his name, the one who played this video, that said that they collude. Um, uh, uh, what is that his name again? The army general. Danjuma. 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 You know that Danjuma, who is a well senior military officer, retired, respected in the zoo, have said that they collude, they collude with these terrorists. The army, they collude. All you can do is to bring your smelly gutter mouth to say, Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, you see them. Who is fighting against Fulani? Who started war against them? Nobody. They are coming to fight people with AK-47, with sophisticated weapons. And their governors are saying, don't touch them. Uh, we will use uh, small, small to talk to them. But when they fight people, and the people want to fight back, you are telling people, hey, why are you fighting back? Chineke me. Now me go finish the talk, because now me only me get mouth. I hand over to my fellow comrade. OK. Uh, Ugo 247. I will call it the talk. I no finish. I'm like one of them talker because not only you get back, so you go see. The well, um, I think um, we we have come a long way. These all these videos. I don't like this girl we on put here. I no go like. I no go like you. I no know as soon as go carry and put or the woman who how na go carry and go they give them all this face. I no know what thing she did do here. Two four seven. The only yeah. reason we are putting her here, that this headline with the federal government sent suicide bomber in search ah, of cyber bomber. Okay. So that people will see it. Eh? That's what All they are right. trying to now, now I understand. Okay. It is clear. If you remember when our leader, Mazenan De Kano, was saying, they are coming. They are coming. They are coming. Everybody was not, nobody want to mind him. Everybody were busy. Those collecting money for container were collecting money for container. Those doing the other one, doing the other one. And now they don't come finish. They don't converge for Niger State. And they go shake the map. What they call Nigeria, you go see say Niger State is there for center, so that you go there easy for them to go operation anyway. For Niger State, you know say go day for Niger State. But I don't know that one. For Niger State, China they load containers or trailers come out from Niger State. Nobody know what in the carry come out. And for the same Niger state, the one of the leader of the terrorists, whether they call Dogogide, 
that Nigeria thing you say they don't kill. Why the man they are alive? In the sign contract for Chinese company to go and mine, nobody have told anybody what they are mining there. Till now. And the Nigeria is cool. Nobody is discussing that. But to go to Delta to collect your oil, they have to wipe out the whole community. Even do you know that till now that we are talking, people of the people of Okwam are still inside the bushes. Because somebody wants to take what belongs to them. They are going to because he said you know the truth is that this is ethnic war. What ethnic war? Which ethnic war? Ethnic war is supposed to be that um as Enugu is there, you see uh, uh Anambra there, they are close. How somebody went there for far north, bro, no back, go come for a bed with said they call the fight ethnic war. Ethnic war supposed to be you the fight for boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Ethnic war. The only thing is that Gumi know that when he tells you that this is ethnic cleanse, you know, you will know, ah, you will say this one, no, knife war. So he have to tell you it's ethnic war. So you have to use your brain, know that this is ethnic cleansing. Make a drop up here. Thank you, watching again. Uh, Marzi Paul, over to you, please. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, my ministers. Thank you. Um, dear friends, there is a reason we demanded that her picture should be put in this place. And I am also pleading to our government, whenever all these brand envelope journalists do something, we have to place them. The way we, we, the way we finished this, those Iraqs will be different because we can't fight with, it, with the same ideology, with the same system. We have a lot of ways to fight. Whenever all these red, red envelopes come up, we put them here so that when our people say that today now, the whole world have known her name. And uh, some of our, our person here now said, Chukwemeka, uh, Chukwemeka said, her name from today will be Esther Mwepoensu, Fulani daughter. You know, this person we have to tarnish. Anybody, any of these people that come from this zoo to come and challenge God ordained journalist, we will bring her image and destroy it here because we are fighting for Nambeka and we are fighting for Biafra. We are the soldiers of Simon Eba. <coughs> and that is why we have to put it here. And for this reason, Esther Mwachuku, did you know that Gowon denied a bully accord written by Ojuku? Go on, deny this thing. Esther, Barrister told you in that place that in now the kind of has been denied the justice. Esther, you know that Nigeria, the most minimal resources in, in all over the world. But when you went to school, you were on strike. This Esther must have graduated, must have, must have left, lived this in this place they called face me at face you house reading re going to school with a generator and the reading reading with a lantern and she couldn't understand this thing these are the people when they took a when they take light they will say oh god they will be begin to pray for light to come when light come they will begin to praise god knowing that the fallen is it took away electricity 
This kind people knows that from where she is now down to their village, there is no road going there. No road going there. And this is what Simon Eber is fighting for. But this woman, Esther, want to turn the head of a barrister to speak against uh, our, our prime minister and the government in exile who is fighting for, 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 for her father and her mother that never ever enjoy electricity and the running water. And she, because she can collect red envelope and uh, take my phone and put inside her mouth, she think we can stay here and keep quiet. Let them know that we will bring Biafra from diaspora and through internet, we will tell our people the simple truth, what they should know. We are not insulting her, you know? We, don't, uh, we are not insulting her, we are teaching her what, what, she, she, what she should know. She should learn how to speak on behalf and on the benefit of her own people. Gumi is there telling you that the Fulanis has come because they feel threatened and they are using her to pass a negative information that will go against her own people. She took a brown envelope to, 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 to do such a dirty, a dirty job. So as you, you know, boy, as we say, you know, we cannot finish the talk on our own. Let her know that many people has gone to Finland. They didn't return with the suicide bomb. Suicide bomb, they are sponsoring two people. PM told them now, before Helsinki declaration, they have sent people. They didn't come back. Let them go. Let she go and make some inquiries before she can take some news and read to public. Because we are here to debunk anything that is coming from the zoo again. Thank you, my ministers. Thank you, my ministers, for those elaborate. Uh, submission on these very topics. So, um, dear friends should understand one thing. More Fulanese are coming together during the time of a <coughs> presidential campaign. That was in 2022, in November thereabout. Over 16 countries of Africa that are predominantly Fulani extract. They came to Abuja and they were having meetings and they call it conference. It is in that meeting that they were planning of what they will be doing now. After then, they came and told you the Muslim Muslim ticket. So everything that is happening now, the conquest agenda, the kidnapping, the cutting of heads, the taking of babies, women and children, and everything, embezzling, entering everywhere, destroying everything, it is what the outcome of that meeting that was happening. While this meeting was going on, all of you were busy dabbling into presidential election, OB 2023, Article 2023. But full and terrorists diverted some of you into the elections. Then they also diverted another set of people back into their conference room. And they were doing the planning. And it is Senator She Usani that was the leader of that conference. Why people that were busy in election, busy in election, there was a well-planned meeting that was going on, and then they worked for it, and it actually played out. The fruit of what they did that day is what is happening, where they are kidnapping and cutting people's head off every day. So, join your hands in what we are doing, and come and contribute. It is not time to push away or to uh, uh, neglect, it is time for you to embrace. One minute, please. So, the Biafran government is the only way out for all of us. So, as the Fulanese are coming together, Gumi told you, they are all coming to join forces so that the war will be very easy. And as they are coming, as they want to enter Biafra land, we will be cutting them off on the way before they even land. So they should be writing their, they should be writing their uh, 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 
dead wishes and will to their families because don't <coughs> fear cancer that is coming into Biafra land. We cut them off. So we thank Biafra and people. We have just one other item on the agenda. Then we open the line for Biafrans to call in so that they can aid the abuse. And that last item on the agenda is, yeah, we are rounding up, is um, China and Woshi wanting to recruit um, Biafra Army. So we are going to do it like this. We will show you people the publication of China and Woshi on the screen. Then we will now play the video where they said they have handed over oh, their yeah. acclaimed ESN to one Nigeria, then we will now be asking the question, which of the ESN now are they going to use for this army? Is it some of these Boko Haram terrorists that the Gumi said that most of them are coming from Fulani land, that they are going to use for the, that their army group? So let us bring that to the screen because we're running up. So if you have your questions, please bring them up, prepare them because the line will be open in no time for you to uh, air your views, please. So, this is China Shang Moshi. The annoying part of this very publication is that whatever they are doing, they will go and look for the face of Onyendu to put to be the face of whatever they are doing so that they can implicate him the more. Since MNT was kidnapped, our PM said, we no longer take orders from anybody in DSS so that we don't implicate him. We take responsibility for whatever that we are doing. But these people, every time, they want to use Mazinam Dikanu name and face for everything that they are doing so that they can continue to nail him and keep him there. So, China and Woshi came out and said, Dear friends, we must be aware that the time of voluntary, a uh, voluntary military service is fast approaching. The enemies are not backing down, and we, Biafrans, won't back down either. We must be ready to defend Biafra land if they fail to let Biafra go. Volunteering military service in Biafra land will stabilize the security of our own towns and communities. Above all, we can protect our land against external aggressors, especially the murderous Nigerian military, full and each head, head men and Islamic jihadists. So volunteering military service will teach young Biafrans what it takes to be patriotic. It will cultivate leadership skills among our youth. Our people can learn to take responsibility to face off the Nigerian military aggression. The service will train you on how to defend your places against Nigerian military aggression and above to equip you for self-defense. Our military volunteers will be trained to be independent and cultivate abilities to meet a variety of challenges. And above all, they will be trained to be disciplined because many of our people lack discipline when it comes to collective activities. So what this madman that wrote this thing is trying to portray here what this man is trying to portray here is to create awareness for their recruitment exercise. So the prime minister has said before that there is nothing like recruitment and we are not recruiting anything so Prime Minister is putting their friends on notice that they should disregard what this madman wrote. This is the Prime Minister's memo on this. Their friends should ignore the criminal IPOB Nigeria. They are now running out of time. We have disbanded ESN because they sold the name to Nigeria politicians. Now that they know that the Bia France, that Bia France has turned their back at anything ESN, they are again planning Biafra and to jeopardize and to sabotage the more and go. So Prime Minister conclude by letting Biafrans know that there is no recruitment to Biafra army. Anytime there is recruitment, he will be the one to announce it because he is the commander in chief <coughs> of the armed forces of Biafra. So if you go and join these criminals to betray Biafra, you will not finish your training in Biafra land. That is the promise from this very government. So be aware and be warned. So to cap up this thing that they have written here, 
Um, Masibo, please play the video where they said they have handed over. Where they said they have handed over their uh, ESN to one Nigeria. Masibo, are you with us? Masibo, Masibo, Masibo. We are calling on you. Play the video of a. Uh, that they handed over their ESN to one Nigeria for us, please. He said, which video? That the DOS, that they handed over their ESN to one Nigeria. Okay. Okay, we have more hands in the house uh, just joining us. And our lines will be open after this uh, very nice video. Is there now? Okay. Uh, Mazifying, okay, wait. You, you grab the mic. Wait, let us play this live video. Okay, you can play it, Mazifying. They told us, they came to us and said we should, the governors came, not the army now. The governors came and said we should hand over, we should hand over Eastern Security and whole network to them so that they will be paying these young men salaries and put them on salary scale and everything. And now they feel that they have gotten all they want. These men, this camp has become the expendable for them. Now they were able suddenly to to, to be able to uh, you know go in and attack and destroy this. Uh, of course, it's good that they. I mean, they took away the this billion that has been you know causing a lot of trouble in, in, in for the Biafran people. But that is, if they are not you know going to relocate them to another place and 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 then begin to continue their trouble but we are waiting for them and we are ready for them and while we are on this i am appealing to the governors of the of the eastern region from in fact not only the, the eastern region now i mean the whole of the eastern region the Biafra state from Ebony to Delta to Bayelsa to Rivers and many, all of you, all your governors, what I'm asking you to do tonight, as your state governor, I know that you will not pray your people, that your name, that the poor people will continue to talk about you. Alhambra state governor, that the people will talk about you. Any state governor, Ebony state, uh, Delta state, Rivers state, all of you, All right, my minister, bam, 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 open the floor on this discussion as we carry on the go. Thank you. Mazuko, there is a picture I sent to you on WhatsApp. If you can pick it up, it would be good to display it. There's something I want to say. There's a, a picture I sent to you on WhatsApp. You know, this is the propaganda these people have been you know, using to distract Betty. you ever since. Yeah, you're welcome, uh, Ada Biafra, Betty. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Magico, did you see it? Just uh, if you can display yeah, it. it. Yeah. Yeah. If you can display it, let me just uh, read it for Biafrans to see how devilish and evil this IPOB Nigeria is. Now, this is a post, not even last year they started making this kind of propaganda. This is from, this one is April last year. One year now. America, they shot up, okay, uh, gift. He said, at no time in this struggle, the Amazon Namekano or IPOB leadership lead, have they declared armed struggle? Or have they formed a Biafra army? What IPOB formed and inaugurated was armed vigilantes called Eastern Security Network, ESN. And uh, as you go to move it, let me uh, buttress my point. Remember the goat in South Africa, the blue mini boy in South Africa, 
that was doing all he did to blackmail our prime minister. When he went to join the uh, politicians, he said, anytime this struggle will enter armed struggle, <coughs> I will go violent, I will resign. You remember? He said, anytime it will go violent, they will resign. Now, and the chinas and Wasetan and all these criminals, they will <coughs> all the way. Now, if these same criminals that have for the past three years told you that what Mazi Simoneka, our prime minister, is doing is armed struggle, that he destroyed IPOB, that uh, there is no violence in IPOB, there is no military in IPOB. <coughs> Who is doing that, please? Can you, okay, help us to mute? There is no military in IPOB, there is no uh, uh, army in IPOB that we, they are vigilante. The same people. Now that our Prime Minister rightly said, now that they, the time is against them, now that they are running out of time, and they know very well that what has been going on is exactly the mindset and the heartbeat of Mazen Nambekanu. They have lost on all fronts. They have sold ESN. They have exposed our, our generals, all our, our men that were, you know, informed. They have massacred them. Some of them were executed. Now they are coming to tell you that uh, military <coughs> volunteering and all that. You can now see that they want, they know that Biafrans who are still hungry <coughs> to come into the army are there. Even though I told Biafrans that there is no recruitment going on for now. There's no recruitment going on for now, at least for now. So when there is recruitment, <coughs> people will be updated. But what, they, what are they doing? They are trying to sell, to throw the cookie to their friends, to deceive them, to come and tell them that there is a recruitment. Meanwhile, there is nothing like that. So any Biafra that will not listen, that will follow this, their wicked propaganda, which they themselves know that they are lying, which they themselves know <coughs> that any attempt they make is an open door for Nigeria army to slaughter ignorant and gullible Biafrans. Follow this government, follow Biafra liberation, follow our prime minister. Anything that does not come from the office of the prime minister, ignore it vehemently. Reject it in totality for your own good and for your own safety. I hand over the mic. Thank you, Wanchineke. Um, I was seeing a signal from PM. I don't know if network is not uh, allowing to enter. Okay. Uh, Adabia Prabeti, welcome to the studio. And uh, Marzi John, welcome to the studio. Thank so, you. Uh, Dabia Fra, take a uh, submit. I don't know if you had listened to us before you joined because uh, we've treated a lot of uh, issues here. But say hi to Biafra in your own way and in a nutshell, uh, give your submission because we are rounding up. Thank you. Okay, my fellow Biafrans, I thank you people for always uh, coming together when we are up. We are grateful and we urge you to continue coming around, share and like the video so that it goes viral. I seize this opportunity to pray to God for our leader, Mazen Namdekano, because I saw he written something from his uh, lawyers that he's sick and he needs medication. Let us put him into prayer. I also pray for our Prime Minister, Obato Biewan of Biafra Land. I pray for all his cabinet ministers, all the media teams and Biafrans all over the world. We are people of liberal mind, but that does not mean that if anyone comes fighting us, we will not defend ourselves. Based on the last thing I heard my colleague, uh, Pastor Van Van Vam, say, 
You know, there was a time China Samuru said, if anyone takes the call from him and gives to ESN, that the person will be quiet. You all know what we use by for now because of YouTube and the Facebook community rules. You know, Onyenyen, the ESN commander, phone number, call from our PM, Yebuonyafu, that they are voluntary workers or voluntary men. Now, the same China Samuru and Chike Dozim were the ones who did this, made this confession and committed this atrocity by going to give the same ESN to the governors and they went and fired them. He's only telling you people that to exonerate himself, but that is always their plan. There was a time they sent some people to Abato to wear the kind of uniform uh, Fendi white and brown dress that our uh, onion do wears to court. They did that in Abba and they were quiet in their hundreds. So our prime minister has clearly denied this very Biafra army recruitment, telling every Biafran that there is no recruitment yet. Do not go there for recruitment. That is how they promised zoo government that they will end Biafra. Each time they gather all of you together, they will signal them your location and they will allow you people to be quiet. Our hands is not there. We are now screaming worldly and widely that you people should hear. Do not pay a deaf ear to this. That's why they are using economic jihad, burning your businesses, bulldozing your houses, so that you will be penniless and homeless. Anything they give you, you will, you will just start speaking their language. My people, do not go for that recruitment. I, I yield my mic. Thank you, my minister. Yeah, thank you, Ada Biafra. Uh, Mazi John, over to you. And please, uh, as we are making our comment on the last video we played and the last uh, thing that we read, there is something on the screen. So do well to also comment on this so that we send the message back to the Nigerian terrorist group so that they understand, so that they understand that um, we are watching them and we are following them up, bomba to bomba. Master John, over to you, please. Is Master John there? Maybe he's having network issues. Okay. Um, Master, uh, Master Paul, are you there? Mm -hmm. Mazi Paul, over to you, please. Yeah, thank you so much, my minister. So, dear friends, the truth is the truth has been played to each and every one of us to hear the DOS sold ESN. Eastern governors or Hannes and Debo, they handed ESN over to Nigeria and the, the members of ESN, those who doesn't like to be free, they entered a bubago. So now any other person that is trying to recruit people are recruiting people he will, whom he will use to do sacrifice. So you joining any other recruitment apart from government in exile under the prime minister, Samuel Neba, the risk is on your own. 
because ESN has been handed over to Nigeria. That is how, how they rule. So be careful and don't make yourself a victim. Life has no duplicate. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, my minister. Uh, Land Media, are you there? Mazi Land Media, are you there? Mazi Land Media is not there. Mazi John, it seems you're having network issues. You may go out and come back again. Go out of the studio and come back again, Mazi John. Just go out of the studio and come back again so you can correct your network. Okay. All right. So the big question is, they said that they are planning to go and uh, recruit army. Why? Because they want to cause confusion. They have seen all that they have tried. They have tried to use ESN after they said they sold it out to the zoo terrorists. They have tried to use it to blackmail the liberation of the Biafran people. And it has not worked. Our prime minister has exposed them in total. But yet they don't want to back down. If somebody opened mouth and said, we gave the ESN, we handed them over to one Nigeria on the ground that salary must be coming out to them. And then today you're coming back to say, we want to go and use the same ESN of you people to uh, recruit army. First and foremost, Prime Minister, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Biafra have told all Biafrans, do not fall a victim of China's and Woshi and one Nigerian government. The Biafran Liberation Army, the Biafra Defense Force, is not recruiting anybody. There is no recruitment form. There is no publicity for any recruitment of the Biafra Defense Forces. No, which includes the Navy, the Army, the Air Force, and every other armed groups that are fighting under this very government. So, China has a big work mode with all their boys. The question we should be asking them is, after they handed over their ESN boys to zoo terrorists on the ground that they will collect money, which of them are they going to use to do their uh, kangaroo uh, army that they want to form again? We understand that Gumi said that all the Fulani terrorists from other countries of Africa are coming down to one Nigeria to join forces with the ones they have already for them to intensify the jihad fight. And let us remember that the person that we're talking about is named Muhammad Abbas. Muhammad Abbas is one of them. He's one of the Fulani Islamic jihadist terrorists. So he's likely going to collect some of those, their boys, add them together and then they'll deploy and then come down and then say these are their army that they have formed. Because like you saw in the first video that we played, somebody was kidnapped and then the person was calling on the military men on the road. My brother was kidnapped, oh, this is where, this is the road, they just entered here now. You people have gone inside uh, with, you, with you, go after them, they say they cannot go inside. Why? It's not that they cannot go inside though. It is the order that they have. They don't go after the full and terrorists to kill them because they are one and the same group of people working together. Some are the ones they send to be in the bush, while some others are the ones they send to be in the community and in the road and in the streets, which you think that they are human beings wearing uniforms. No, they are all working together. They collude. They support each other and they do everything in Paripaso. So this is the message we are passing to Biafrans. And there is something here on the screen which we want every Biafran to see. It seems the thing is not a scamming, but okay, let us give it full screen. With full screen, everybody will see very well. 
Okay, with full screen, everybody can see. I think let us play the other video before we come down to this one first. There is a video. There was a video where, okay, let's play this video first. Why carrying the heavy cross he was meant to be crucified on? Christians say the cross signifies the sins of the. No, it's not this one. It's the other one. Sorry about that. Before we come down to this very video, at this very publication, is that video the brother spoke about? This very publication here. Okay, this one here. While the Nigerian scam government and their terrorist military are attempting the impossible after uncountable attempts, styles, and methods of stopping the sun from rising. Today, they are sharing handbills, preaching ills about Simon Epa. Last week, they declared him wanted. The other time, they placed bounty on him. Or is it when they carried megaphone and posters to sing and dance in our marketplace? Or when they went international to dialogue with Chino Waha in order to rendition Simon Epa? They even went to the length of disguising to be one of us, to destroy properties and to to kill our brothers and sisters in order to blackmail Simon and Ekpa. Don't let them confuse you. If they mean well for us, they will release Nam the Kano before any other thing. They hate Simon and Ekpa and they want you to hate Simon and Ekpa because he is the only one stopping them from hurting you. They hate Simon and Ekpa and they want you to hate Simon and Ekpa because he is the only one stopping them from hurting you. Dear Bia friends, while the Nigerian scam government and their terrorist military are attempting the impossible after uncountable attempts, styles, and methods of stopping the sun from rising, today they are sharing handbills, preaching ills about Simon Epa. Last week they declared him wanted, the other time they placed bounty on him. Or is it when they carried megaphone and posters to sing and dance in our marketplace? Or when they went international to dialogue with Chino Waha in order to rendition Simon Epa? They even went to the length of disguising to be one of us. To destroy properties and to kill our brothers and sisters in order to blackmail Simon Epa. Don't let them confuse you. If they mean well for us, they will release Nam the Kano before any other thing. They hate Simon Epa and they want you to hate Simon Epa because he is the only one stopping them from hurting you. They hate Simon Epa and they want you to hate Simon Epa because he is the only one stopping them from hurting you. Dear Bia friends, here we go. So we want their friends to understand and follow us as question. If na laugh, you won't laugh, make you laugh. Has there been a time where somebody is coming to tell you that you should deny your identity as a Biafran? You should not be a Biafran again. You should rather reject your identity as an indigenous person of Biafra, but come and accept to be a full and terrorist. Marzi Paul, over to you, please. You have the mic. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you know, no. the guy, this is our brother who made this video, has really delivered every message. Because our, our leader, Mazen Nandekanu, says, Whenever you are doing something to free yourself out of the hands of the oppressor, and that oppressor turn back and begin to praise you, you should know you are not doing it right. But when the oppressor begin to come after you, <clears throat> then you know you are, you are getting it right. It, is, it has been in our record here that Nigerian government, Soludo, Eastern governors, they praised those DOS people. They said they are the Ben IPOB, but they are going after Simon Neba, who is fighting exactly the same thing as Namdekano is fighting. Today, they are publishing trying to blackmail, trying to send every kind of propaganda. But we are here to tell them that their propaganda will not hold any water. We have graduated in this kind of, of propaganda. We have seen it before. At least 
when we defeated half a million, 500,000 recruited ERAT, which they bought over, that is when we know that whatever they are coming up with is dead on arrival. We know their game already because Chukwu Kabiyama prepared us to this journey. All this junk they are writing, we know they will write it. They will give people, some people, brand envelope to go and type something against their own self. Only some of this affiliate are the people who will accept such a thing. But the Biafrans know the truth. So anybody who is trying to recruit you, calling you for army, the recruitment of army, don't mind that person. What they are trying to do is to disturb this movement of freedom, which is coming. On the 2nd of December, this particular year, Biafrans will be free. Biafra will be declared, and all this suffering will end once and for all. Thank you, my comrades. Thank you, all of us of freedom. Thank you, Mwai Chineke. Minister Van Van Bam, over to you, please. Thank you. Thank you, my able minister, and everyone that have made their contributions. Biafra, do not forget that the awareness we brought to you tonight is that the Biafra satellite TV and the radio is here. So while this Biafra government, <laughs> led by our Prime Minister, Mazi Simon Ekba, while we are making waves and, you know, achieving a lot and breaking grounds, the sewage rats and underground the criminals are still continuing with their propaganda. And now the worst of their propaganda is that they want to put our people on harm's way again. There is no time they have ever improved on the lives of Biafrans. No time. Ever since they sold Mazinda Mekam, all they have done is sniff life out of vibrant Biafrans. Very active Biafrans that they are supposed to protect. And when Mazinda Mekam was actually directly, directly referring to them in the court, they want to <coughs> And talk, uh, he's talking. Make sure someone, make sure someone, all the old Biafrans know that everything that this government have done under our prime minister is to protect the life of Biafrans, is to bring awareness to Biafrans, is to open every doors that the enemies have shut against us to subjugate us and make us, you know, silent us to death. But we are now bold, we are now strong. Even those that could not speak before. Because when they look back and they know that there is all bad that there is a prime minister that have got their back, you can see them speaking up in radio stations, on the uh, headline newspapers. That barrister that spoke in that uh, radio station that is con uh, controlled by that uh, brand envelope, uh, Esther uh, Maceta, that lady that was there speaking, you know, we know every one of us now that those are instruments of Satan. And that brother that was responding, he remembers that there is a man that has got his back. I'm telling you, before our prime minister took the leadership and began to lead Biafran people, these people cannot boldly speak. They can't speak. When they ask them questions, they either dodge it or they keep quiet or they will tell you, eh, we don't know what to say, just uh, uh, do this or that. But now they are boldly challenging them. Look at a barrister telling that lady on live TV, what have they not done? Have they not done worse? The, he was even challenging her and telling her that, look, even in Zamfara, terrorists were being given title, chief testing title, what did you do? All those things that were brought in the open, that lady never challenged it. She never spoke about it. But these criminals that are looking for their friends that they will put on harm's way, they will not talk about that. This government is moving forward. Now, Biafrans, everything will be at your doorstep. The satellite TV is there. The radio is here. The government is here. The, leaders, the leadership of Biafra government have got your interest at heart and you can see it it is not just by promise it is with evidence 
You are already voting in your self-referendum. You are not waiting for UN or waiting for Nigeria to give you date, which you know they will never do. And you see the way our Prime Minister have taken the bull by the horn, taking decisions and steps that will land you in the glorious land of Biafra. He always told you that I know the day Biafra will come. And you thought it was a joke. And now, Koro Koro before you, he has given you the date for declaration. Are you going to be listening to criminals that have got no integrity? Criminals that have been proven not only by us, but by the people that paid them that they are criminals. They have been proven to be criminals. And nobody cares about them. Even they themselves have come on their radio and on their TV to tell you that uh, we have no longer been fighting the Nigerian government. We have not been doing enough. We have been fighting only some of them. But they have owned up. And after they owned up, they still go back to the muddy clay where they belong because you wash a pig, you dry a pig, a pig will remain a pig forever. You have got a government and you have got to believe in this government and support this government. Thank you very much. And may you go and bless you all. Thank you, my minister. And um, we want be our friends to know that this... Uh, Propaganda and um, blackmail leaflet is dead on arrival from the Nigerian army. Why? Because they think that the Biafran people don't have ways and manners of hearing what the government of Biafra is saying. And now the Biafra satellite TV and the radio is here. So this the propaganda is dead on arrival. Because to every corner of Biafra land now, you will be able to hear our voices with FM radio and also on satellite TV, anywhere you tune in. So after these people will finish their propaganda, dancing on the street, singing with DJ speaker, making noise everywhere, <laughs> Biafrans will now be laughing at them. But let me remind Biafrans something. That during the genocide of... 1966 to 70. In the middle of that genocide, that Nigerian government, with the help of UK, were dropping this same propaganda and blackmail leaflet inside Biafra land. They were dropping it in the entirety of Biafra land. What was the aim and objective? Because it is a method of warfare. They were dropping it in order to send a message to the indigenous people of Biafra that Ojuku and his men are actually their enemy. That them who are now the one Nigerian terrorists are now the good guys. So it is a repetition of what they did that they have tried to do here now again. What you need to understand is that whenever you see this kind of method of warfare and this tool that they use in war, it is when they are left with no other option. When the Biafran army have defeated them and is destroying them every day, so they will now resort into looking for what to pick and add and join and how to go and cajole the minds of the Biafran people into believing that their own savior is now their own destroyer. So Biafran people, your names are IPOB. IPOB means indigenous persons of Biafra. Anybody that is telling you to deny your identity as IPOB, as indigenous person of Biafra, that person is your enemy. So Fulani terrorists will come all the way from the north. One tell you say that IPOB is not the way. Stop the killings. That IPOB is the devil. That Simon Ekba is the evil. Is a thief that is making money from you. That IPOB is causing death. That IPOB is bad. Tell the person that he should go back to Kapanchan. That you are the IPOB yourself and you know who you are. And you can never change yourself to become a full and terrorist because you want to embrace one Nigeria. Because we have embraced one Nigeria before, and all they could give to us is massacre, cutting of heads, kidnapping, and exploitation, dissolution of communities, destruction of lives and properties, destruction of our dreams. They kill our dreams and aspirations, and whatever our children should become tomorrow. Our farmlands and water and streams and lakes have all been destroyed 
because of the exploitation of one Nigeria in Biafra land. The waters are no longer consumable for you. The farmlands are no longer cultivatable for you. They want to put you in a deplorable situation so that you come back begging when you beg for food, you beg for everything, while they have already unleashed their food soldiers into the bushes in the name of Fulani terrorists and Ruga, so that they, they will now come and destroy you and be eating you up so that you will now be looking for where to jump into, like it is happening in the Middle Belt and in the far North Kaduna, where they are killing the Christians there. Where they are killing all those people is predominantly where you have the Christians. It is not where you have the jihadi supporters. So Biafran people understand very well that Biafra is here. And what these people are doing with this propaganda leaflet is a sign of victory to the Biafran people. It's a sign of victory coming from the Biafran government. That is the message you should understand. Because you have punctured their blockers. You have killed them where it hurts them most. So they now have to come into your own very land to be begging you to hate yourself. What they are coming to do now is telling you, hate yourself, that you are actually the one that is your enemy. No, you can never be the enemy to your people. You are exactly. your own keeper, and you are taking care of yourself. But the enemies are actually coming to destroy your people. So the only good guy we know, he's our prime minister, and the Biafran people are standing jiggy back with him from now till Biafra come, and even after Biafra comes, he is the heartbeat of the Biafran people. And Biafran people love him and owe him so much till eternity. And that Biafra, over to you as we round up. The mic is yours. And we need two lucky callers to call in through this number. If you're so lucky, you call, then you are the one to speak. And that Biafra, over to you, please. Thank you, my minister. Fellow Biafrans, you all know that since 1960, we have served the zoo and time has come for us to go. According to Genesis chapter 12, verse, six, uh, verse 2, God said to the children of Israelite, you have been on this mountain for too long. You have to come down and go and take the land that I promised your father. He is talking to us and it is our time. We are no longer ready to serve the zoo. Everything that made zoo Nigeria government great is from Biafra land. Our oil, our gas, our human resources, our efforts, doctors, lawyers, engineers, everything. Writing IPOB is causing that, or IPOB is able. Is like when you have crocro, instead of treating the blood, you are rubbing bleaching cream to treat the skin. They have problem. Biafra cannot help them. Everything that Gumi and uh, Shetima are doing, who writes about it? Is IPOB causing the killing in Zamfara? Causing the killing in not not east. Uh, not not east or wherever in kaduna in middle belt in plateau state these are the people who promised uh nigeria government that they will end biafra and now they could not the only thing they did was to sell our leader so they are doing this to show nigeria government that the contract they signed with them is still working do not let this uh, cheap blackmail face any one of you. We are home already. If God is not in what we are doing, when Onyendu was abducted, somebody like our prime minister wouldn't have emerged. So my people of Ogonogo Quadro Manu Kamwede, if any Nabo or master servant relationship, they are trying to show their masters that they are still making effort to retain Biafra for them, but we are gone just with the wind. We are not there for them. Don't, don't mind these uh, blackmail because they are cheap. They used to say that uh, Igbos are their problems, but the whole Nigeria have now known who is their problem. 
tell me any state in that country that the Fulanese don't go to hire their brothers from North, North uh, Africa to come and buy them. Everywhere, there is no tribe that these people haven't gone to buy people. You all saw the latest one. And the reason they were crying about uh, that uh, uh, Ueli South massacre is because they always take our brothers to Sambisa Forest and buy them there, the Southern soldiers. And their pain is that 16 or 17 of them were acquired in, in that place because they always send those tiny, tiny, all those tiny, tiny rats, terrorists, when they change, they convert them, put military uniform on them. So they buy them at Ueli. That's their anger. Is it uh, IPOB doing that one? My people, by now you should be wise. Our prime minister and his uh, cabinet members, they have done everything. We are, we are home and dry. Don't let this disturb any one of you and don't be convinced by them because these people doing this are the ones that sold Onyendu. I will, I will yield my mic here, but while going, I will urge you people to continue voting donate because we need funding we need funding they want to distract us we can never be distracted we are wiser than them i'll leave you here thank you my minister thank you vam 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 and five 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 thank you so much thank you thank you thank you do we have any call vam 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 do we have any call Okay, no call. All right. So on this very note, we say a very big thank you to all of you who have been listening. If you did not join us from the very beginning, please, you may go back and start listening from the very beginning because everything here is well dies. I beg of you. You, you wouldn't need to miss any part of this very program. Remember our fundraising on Saturday and remember to go to the database website and apply for your ID card and also Tada, Tada apply for the voting. convention. Voting is still on, no? Voting is still on. Voting is still on, and we are yet to finish the first phase, which we are aiming at May. So we still have time. We still have time. We still have time. If you have issues, call in, call in, and let us know so that we know the headlines to connect you to. Thank you so much, all dear friends, for being here. It's been a wonderful one. My media team and all beer friends out there, we salute you all. And to the ministers of the BRGIE, we salute all of you that are listening to us from there. And to our PM, the beer from people loves you so much. And this media team, stand JP Bar with you, just like we have stood with you from the very beginning when MNK was kidnapped, when we were just autopilot, when we were just three and four and five in the studio fighting. This media team stand with you, Jiggy Bar. Till the very end. Thank you. So thank yes, so yes, so yes, so yes, so airborne. You propose yes. that this situation or this situ this situation rather should be handled. You know, we just understand that the military has declared ninety-six persons wanted in connection to terrorist activities in the country. Simon Ekpa has been included. But what would you make, or what are your thoughts generally on how it's been put out there, and what do you think should be the, a strategic approach to address some of the concerns you also highlighted? Now, look at this. Now, someone to me, is not a terrorist. He is an agitator. Until we begin to put a difference between those who are agitating for something and those who are actually terrorists. Now, we know those that are terrorist group leaders in the country, and nothing positive has been done to quell the activities of those that are known to be terrorists, and so on and so forth. I don't see someone Edna as a terrorist. I see him as an agitator. I see Nandekana as an agitator, and several other uh, ethnic groups that are agitating for one thing or the other, which, to me, the federal government should have sit back, have a roundtable talk, and discuss with these people
to find out what are their grievances. Why are they agitating and what are they agitating for? These and more other ways could be adopted right. so that we'll be able to live in harmony as one nation. So, right. uh, including Samuel Ekba in the list of those 96 or thereabout terrorists that have been listed by the government, I don't see, I don't see that as, uh, I don't see him being part of that terrorist group. He's an agitator. He is asking for something. The right. federal government should look into what is the reason why he is asking for what he is asking for. And when that is looked into, then it could be resolved. We could have a roundtable discussion, and all those issues will be resolved. Right, I don't think that's... there is anybody who wants to break away from Nigeria, but I think they're asking that there should be more presence of the federal government activities and agencies in the other neglected. All right. Okay.